European Conference on Digital Education. I have today with me five wonderful ladies. It's a coincidence, I have to say, that they are all ladies. It's just like that, that uh, we had uh, many presentations, but uh, they were so uh, good that we choose uh, them. Uh, very welcome to all of you. To all of you, maybe some of you are a lot of times with us because I know some from the uh, from the comments you are saying hello and I know some of the people, uh, but maybe some of you are with us with the first time. Uh, welcome all. I have to say that the Pan-European Conference on Digital Education is a gathering of teachers. We usually have five teaching cases and teachers share their material and their teaching cases just, you know, so that we can learn from each other and that we are uh, even better teacher from day to day. Um, but now is the summertime. And uh, yeah, I'm really uh, inspired when I see now that already 100 people are with us. That's really amazing. Uh, di we discussed before with our presenters that uh, this time, these holidays are not, uh, you know, the holidays that we travel around, but some of the people also travel now during the corona. So please tell us in the comments, uh, how was your holidays? So were you at home or did you go somewhere to travel or did you go to maybe to the seaside or maybe to mountains? Tell us so that we can uh, also have this uh, summer energy still with us. Uh, and uh, yeah, the conference today will have five presentations. Let's see us now the agenda. So the first uh, will we will have the case by prepared by Sabina, uh, which is about uh, 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 teaching English. She co-designed e-course book and curriculum, and she will present us her case, the case of intertexting English. Then we will uh, continue with Maria, and she prepared the presentation on increasing, how to increase students' critical thinking skills. Then we go to digital innovation for students' engagement in PBL practice, prepared by Alina. Then we will go to volcanoes, so how to make a volcano by Violeta. And uh, in the end, uh, we will conclude everything with the interactive lessons created with the LibreSQL edit editor. And Adriana will be with us with that presentation. So as you can see from the agenda, all the presentations are somehow connected with student engagement because so active learning, active learning, because we all want, you know, to students to be as active as possible because we know that then the results of the learning are better. And now, okay, I will uh, welcome here the first, our first presenter just to introduce herself because I know that all of you are curious about the presenters, who they are uh, and uh, what they teach. So Sabina, welcome. You please tell us uh, something about yourself and what do you teach, maybe what are your hobbies and uh, your microphone. Sorry. 
Uh, hello, all of you. I'd like to thank you for your invitation. It's an honor for me to be here and uh, meet your guests. My name is uh, Sabina Majaru. I'm a teacher of English uh, in um, a school, in a high school in Bucharest. It's called Mihai Eminescu, Colegiul Național Mihai Eminescu. Uh, you can uh, find the uh, information on my blog about me, but I can tell you that um well i've been working mostly as a teacher uh and uh mostly uh as a high school teacher i have a ba in foreign languages and literatures from the university of bucharest with a major in english and minor in french two ma's one in applied linguistics english applied linguistics from the university of bucharest and um, an MA in Medieval Studies from uh, the Central European University, Budapest, uh, and also a PhD in Medieval History. <clears throat> I um, dedicate my spare time to some hobbies and also to professional development, and uh, that is why uh, I uh, speak now uh, in front of you. Um, I have a Comenius, I have won a Comenius grant and also an Erasmus Plus, Mo Plus Mobility at the University of Porto Montaigne. I co authored the translation and also um, a book on ESP, uh, a course book on business communication, more precisely. Um, the course book I'm going to talk about today okay. in the text in English. Okay, Sabina. Yes, we will go. Thank you very much. We will go to your presentations later. Now, this first part is only to introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, yes, I was going to say that, that uh, uh -huh. this is uh, this is my second uh, published course book, and it's an yeah. ebook, as you may have read. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in. Uh, no. Uh, in literature, I have uh, several articles published as well, and that would be all. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, that's so marvelous to hear about all your accomplishments. Thank you, uh, Violeta. Okay, welcome also, Violeta. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. Uh, thank you. So hello everyone and uh, thanks for the opportunity and thanks for uh, uh, the great experience and sh sharing everything that uh, we have passed uh, last year with you. So um, I hope that uh, everyone has a wonderful summer instead of COVID. Uh, I'm primary school teacher. I'm coming from North Macedonia, Bitola, my town is Bitola, near the border with Greece. And uh, the school name is uh, Sveti Kliment Ohritski. Uh, so um, I have 15 uh, years of uh, teaching in this school. Uh, so um, I have, I work on projects. So we have uh, uh, finished a lot of Erasmus project and other project. We have uh, six Erasmus project, which on uh, five, I have been coordinator. So we have, uh, uh, three uh, Erasmus projects that are still ongoing and uh, somehow we are managing that uh, time with Corona and mobilities and everything but um, till now is everything is good uh, so uh, for me I like to travel I am very uh, creative person and I like to explore and share my knowledge and of course uh, gaining knowledge from the colleagues uh, so uh, the traveling is my passion, so I like a lot of travel to study different cultures, to see everything that is going on. That's why I decided to work on project which will give me opportunity to not just to, uh, to travel, but to learn something about the cultures and everything about them. Uh, so, and uh, my last experience of traveling was my holiday in Egypt, and mm -hmm. I have uh, very great memories there. So I saw the pyramids, I saw the um, uh, valley of the kings and the towns there. And um, I'm very, uh, very uh, experienced and uh, I have very great memories. So um, I like to share, uh, I like everyone to have the opportunity to travel again and to see this, uh, uh, this part uh, of the world. So, and also the desert was very, 
uh, very excited and very uh, curious for me because <laughs> I was uh, running the, in the in the desert. So we have uh, visited some villages there, and it was a great experience. Wonderful, yeah. Uh, okay, thank you very much. And uh, now I welcome here Maria. Hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> hello. Okay, can you also introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more? Okay, I will, thank you. I am Maria Nedevska from Veles. I'm an English teacher in a primary school, uh, Metro Dimitrievsky Brito and I'm teaching kids from first grade to fifth grade and I loved reading uh, books, uh, traveling around the world and um, uh, teaching the kids. I love the work with the you know, working with kids. So mm -hmm. that's my passion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. really nice to hear that uh, when somebody has a passion uh, yeah. which I believe it's really necessary if you want to be a successful teacher yeah. because teaching yeah. is not a regular job but uh, yeah. you really need to feel this uh, mission yeah okay and Alina hello Alina uh, hello everyone thank you for this opportunity to be here with you because I'm uh, uh, Fidel a follower of your webinars um, yes i'm uh, not teaching english i'm uh, just a food engineer um, licensed in the 1995 uh, i started uh, teaching english uh, teaching um, in the educational field since 1999 and i have also a a master degree in uh, food uh, safety and food quality um, uh, attended in uh, 2007. I finished with all exams at school in uh, 2009. Mm -hmm. So I finished all grades in education. I'm full uh, a teacher of technology. I uh, had the opportunity in 2007 to uh, participate in uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, vocational uh, educational tra training program. Mm -hmm. and, um, I discovered in uh, 2009 it winning uh, projects and I became addicted to it. <laughs> so I have a um, nice portfolio of uh, 11 uh, uh, quality awarded uh, projects. And uh, very late compared with other colleagues, uh, uh, I'm now coordinator of an Erasmus about, uh, with team anti-bullying uh, campaign in our school. And um, among uh, my um, successes, I uh, was uh, uh, nominated at the teacher and trainer uh, category in European vocational skills in Berlin 2020 but because of COVID I started to to uh, no, to understand better that online uh, will be forever part of our life so it was an online conference and it was uh, new for me but very exciting experience and uh, uh, this year, uh, with my team, with my uh, partners in Erasmus, we won the first prize at the uh, 16, 19 age category with the uh, Climate Volunteers uh, Project. Uh, I'm very sure you will uh, hear about this project this year. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I admire. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And um, Adriana? Hello. Hello. I am a teacher from, for primary education at the um, Ioan Alessandru Brătescu Voidnești in Târgoviște, Romania. I like to be a teacher. I like, I like children. I like to change him to find out there extraordinary. 
I like to think that the world will to better than to him. Oh, I am glad to hear. Uh, I am nervous. <laughs> And I like that you are so sincere about that. That's really kind and lovely. We support you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, so now is the official time to start with the presentations. Uh, here we are. So this is the team of ladies that we will be with you today. Uh, and now we will start with the first presentation. So, Sabina, you can prepare your presentation. The title of her presentation is uh, E-Course Book and Curriculum Design, the case of intertexting English. Uh, in the meanwhile, I would uh, just like to add about the certificates. So, uh, the link for the certificates uh, is in the comments. Please apply and you will receive the certificates of attendance in this conference uh, but the link is active 24 hours so you have 24 hours to apply for the certificate and then we need like five days because we have many applications uh, we need like five days to send out all the certificates uh, all right so Sabina do you have your presentation Um, I think you mean that uh, I can already share it. Yes, you can already share it, right. Okay, we have here. All right, we see it. Great. <clears throat> So as you can see, the title is EFLE course book and Curri curriculum design, the case of intertexting English, a book that an e-book that I wrote in 2017 and managed to publish in 2018. Uh, for economy of time, I'll confine myself to approaching solely course book design. Uh, when I submitted the proposal, I didn't know I would have seven minutes uh, for it. Um, so uh, the idea of uh, such a course book is tributary to my constant research and concerns in the field of medieval studies. And it is not with pleasure that I recollect that many people in management positions, such as Romanian professors, teachers, and school inspectors, told me that my medieval studies were irrelevant for my teaching. However, I would like to state that medieval studies have given me the best academic writing skills I have ever had, the consistency in research, the creativity of interdisciplinarity, the daring of my approach to any subject matter, the eye to see the beauty, the logic to apply to any demarch, the inquisitiveness of not letting a stone unturned, the constant wish for professional development, always a fresh view, the power of perseverance against all odds. I could see no better way to transmit all these values to my students than, and, show, and to show my uh, gratitude to my teachers, mentors and professors than putting them all together within the pages of a course book and that would be intertexting English. Um, in this slide, what is of, of interest are the premises. So the fact that EFL has now become English as an international language. And uh, the last sentence, uh, belonging to Mackay, uh, they can learn English through many cultures. So students, our students can learn English through many cultures. Uh, although not acquainted at the time when I wrote the book with Mackay's words, I somehow rightfully intuited the fact that English was already an international language. And that is why I allowed myself to combine native texts with certified translations of other European literatures, French or Italian. Uh, therefore, English could be learned through many cultures, which is what I proposed in my course book. As you will see, if you download this ebook at this link here, it looks like a regular EFL course book. 
However, the fact that it is an ebook provides users with obvious advantage, advantages which will come to surface here and after. I started this textbook as a series of worksheets with reading and listening activities based on Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, plus other medieval texts that uh, may have inspired Chaucer and uh, a lot of imagery. The linking co concept that created the necessary coherence of this work was intertextuality. The outcome came in the shape of interdisciplinarity. That is, the lesson line leads to discussing legal issues, maths, uh, history, astronomy, cartography, geography, ethics, natural sciences, cuisine, etc., and multiculturalism and multilinguistics. The textbook offers activities relating to European origins and values, blending English and French with Latin. Uh, as far as the target audience is concerned, intertexting English is addressed to an age group ranging from 16 to 19 of students' proficiency in English, levels of proficiency B2 to C2. It can be used in mixed ability classes of up to uh, 30 students. Uh, this is the table of contents of the book. <clears throat> uh, so in this slide, you can see the chapters making up intertexting English. Three of them, the first uh, three are introductory chapters, the following seven being uh, defining for my course book and the structure of uh, one of the seven chapter, The Merchant's Tale, for instance, comprises a fablio by Geron, that is a short poem. Uh, the Merchant's Tale proper by Chaucer and an excerpt from Le Roman de la Rose. <laughs> Uh, the six and uh, seven slides present an advantage of a digital textbook. A reading activity can be mediated by such platforms as Lingro or Coca. Uh, in this uh, slide, you can see a demonstration of Lingro. So Lingro turns each word in your reading text into a hyperlink to a dictionary entry of that term. So if you click on each word, you get the explanations. Um, in the next slide, uh, you can see uh, read, uh, an example of reading via COCA. This is the Corpus of Contemporary American English. And if you introduce one of the words, for instance, gallant, you can see the context in which uh, it is used. So you can see context and collocations. <clears throat> the eighth slide shows two online platforms that are useful in course book design. Uh, of course, I didn't know about these platforms at the time. I only found out about them uh, this spring, but uh, they may be helpful to you. These platforms assess the readability of a text, facilitating your selection of a text for a certain level of proficiency, or for example, your confinement to a certain number of words per text that is extremely usable, uh, usable for, uh, I don't know, test design, for instance. Furthermore, one of them provides details that may aid you in writing grammar exercises based on a reading activity. Voice of America, the last uh, uh, platform mentioned, is a complex platform uh, that provides textual, video, and audio resources. Slide nine offers a sample from unit two, which is called What is an Author? Uh, let me draw your attention on activities five, sorry, five and six, uh, which are project and task-based. Moreover, both can be achieved by resorting to such platforms as canva.com, YouTube, Prezi.com, which can be accessed by students on the same device that they employ for intertexting English. So you can see the platforms um, on bottom corner left. <clears throat> on the next slide, um, you can see another fragment from the same unit too. I included it in this presentation for it illustrates the transition from medieval perception on authorship to its contemporary legal implications and the sample of a present contract. Uh, this is important, important as this activity prepares students for real life uh, by simulating a real life situation and by using authentic uh, texts. Uh, the next slide is a sample from Unit 9, the Wife of, the wife of Bath's Prologue. Uh, and uh, what is of interest here is Activity 9, this one. 
at the bottom of the page, um, which can be done via the mind maps section of canva.com. And um, several conclusions. Um, the novelty that intertexting English uh, uh, brings uh, resides in a variety of sources of text connected in un unexpected ways, a variety of methodological approaches, a return to storytelling and imagery, and also a return to and valorization of humor. Uh, but I cannot finish this pre presentation without a warning as to some of the limitations of intertext in English. It is not a perfect book. It may look a bit disbalanced on account of my not being able to include too many grammar activities in uh, the limited time span allotted to its design. So this was not, uh, this was a paper I submitted in order to get uh, uh, a degree. Um, and one must always remember <clears throat> that it is a pioneer work with all the implications that is issue from that status. So I hope uh, uh, the seven minutes have not passed. Thank you for listening and shall be waiting for your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's so uh, nice to see something uh, as new as this. Congratulations on your hard work. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so I will check. Yeah, uh, okay, Violeta is saying wonderful and detailed presentations, uh, and they are congratulating you. Now I'm searching for some questions. If there are any questions, please see, uh, please uh, go into the comments and write the questions during the presentation so that uh, our presenters are able to answer them as soon as they finish with the uh, presentation. So if there are any questions, please uh, do write us. All right, so um, yeah. Aha, Jana is asking something. Uh, can you share what do your students think about this unique uh, approach? Um, well, I don't have uh, the students' opinions on this textbook. Uh, I worked uh, two years uh, with them uh, on this textbook and uh, at times so i had mixed responses so uh, you will just have to take my word for granted um i think i have um um th uh, the their answers uh, to the surveys on needs analysis so this this is what i have and was included in the um in the degree paper but uh, it will take some time to um to find them so i i had mixed mixed responses actually some students were reluctant to um to approach interdisciplinarity they said well um this is uh, why should we uh, speak about math even it's if it's a game during an English class, why should we, um, I don't know, why should we access an etymological dictionary that leads to Latin and French words? Um, why should we do this and that? Well, the answer is, is that uh, this facilitates not only learn, learning English, but also um, a different uh, approach to other subjects so making other subjects other disciplines uh, from the school uh, syllabus uh, making them friendly to students um, other students were um, uh, uh, extremely uh, fascinated by the book and they were really uh, looking forward to the english class to see a video uh, to, you know, they had that intellectual curiosity about um, um, this link between the past, the present and the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's good because it's a case of intercourse, yeah, of the intercurriculum uh, design. That is really marvelous because we life is about connecting things. Life is not divided on the subject, but uh, yeah. So your example is uh, really an example of that. Okay, so thank you. Great work, great work. Mm -hmm. uh, and congratulations many of them now we move to maria 
Okay, I'm adding Maria. Hello. Hello. How are uh, you? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are now curious about your presentation, uh, which oh. is how to increase students' critical skills. We all want to do that. So uh, now uh, I have to share. Yes. And yeah. you will yes. present. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Here is the presentation. So thank uh, you. So I'm Maria Nedevska from Metodimitevski Brico Lozovo, North Macedonia. I will show my presentation about uh, increasing uh, thinking skills, critical thinking skills to our uh, children. Uh, also, sorry, just a second. We know that uh, everyone now, uh, in the last uh, few few years, uh, there is no single commonly agreed definition of the term critical thinking. Most commonly, as teachers, we use it to refer to what are known as the higher order thinking skills. These higher order thinking skills are skills that requ require us to think in a deeper and more complex manner. So uh, everyone are familiar with Bloom's, Bloom's taxonomy. So think of the upper levels of the hierarchy, analyze, evaluate, create. And we could also add infer to this list of critical thinking skills. Uh, also, in the young learners, uh, especially from six years to ten years, critical thinking requires to, uh, to uh, the students to engage in an objective analysis of a, of a topic and evaluate the uh, available information in order to form a judgment. Critical thinking demands a systematic approach to evaluating new information. It encourages us to question and reflect on our own knowledge and how we arrive at the opinions we have and make the decision we make. So, uh, it's uh, from my uh, from my personal experience with my students. This critical thinking they they thought that it's um, their answers if they didn't uh, gave us as a teacher the right opinion or the right answer they are wrong and then to, uh, they, they will be punished with the grade or something else but this is not true and I'm trying all the time and I try all the time to tell this to my students so what can we do to be more uh, uh, what is critical thinking that it's a self-directed process by which we take deliberate steps to thinking at the highest level, but it's also a skillful, responsible thinking that is conductive to good judgment because it is sensitive to context, relies on criteria, and is self-correcting. So if we have some opinion and uh, another one have uh, another opinion, we can make and can change uh, our opinion uh, together with the other's opinion and something like uh, in that uh, in that way uh, also uh, the students um, has uh, critical thinking when we can say that analysis of thinking by uh, critical thinking is analyze analysis of thinking by focusing on the parts like the animal uh, elements uh, evaluation of thinking by focusing on the quality the standards and improvement of thinking by using what you have learned so what we have learned, or our students had to learn, uh, we can use as an improvement and to improve to the others that our thinking is the right way uh, or how we use, how we see the, the problem or the uh, the resolution of that of that problem. Also, uh, we can encourage our students. Uh, we, can you turn off the, another slide, please? Thank you. We have uh, more strategy, teaching strategies to uh, for uh, improving this critical thinking. So I have here a few of them. Format the question. This means that the key to the this filtration process is the formulating of the research questions. How the questions are composed and formatted with inform exactly. Uh, is exactly what information the student is looking for and what information can be dis, uh, discarded. The type of question formatted here will depend on the purpose of the research. Example, is, uh, is the question intended to establish knowledge? Then it may well be straightened forward. For example, what are the consequences of a diet high in, pro, uh, in proceeds sugars? 
if the question is geared more towards the use of that information or knowledge, then the question may be more of a why, a why type questions. For example, why do some commentators claim that a diet high in processed sugars is the greatest treat facing public health? Gather the information. Once the question has been clearly defined, then the process of gathering the information begins. Students should frequently refer back to their research questions to ensure they are maintaining their focus. As they gather information in relation to their questions, reference, reference to their initial questions will help them to determine the relevance of the information in front of them. They can then weigh up whether or not the information is helpful in moving them further for, towards answering their answers. Up to apply the information. The most practical application of this skill is seen when it is used to inform decision making. When faced with making a decision, encourage students to reflect on the concepts at work in regards to the choice they face. Explore other points of view. Exploring alternative viewpoints help us to evaluate our own choices and to avoid uh, stagnating in our own biases and innate preferences. Doing this help us to make the most informed decision possible. So this is a few steps, step-by-step -step approach to critical thinking. Also, uh, I have um, another one. Uh, we can use these methods. Okay, another slide, please. Uh, we can use these methods like uh, make lessons plans uh, that include thinking skills. This means that you can ask thought provoking questions how, as uh, how do you know this? How do you know that? Uh, so he asks them to tell what they understand. Also, you can try to connect the problem, uh, connecting the problem with students' experience, asking questions. Developing thinking skills requires students to raise issues, discover ideas and things for solution, find problematic, problematic areas, and find evidence and make conclusions. So, uh, the uh, characteristic of critical thinkers are they are open minded, they are honest, courage, have courage to show their mind, their thinking, uh, and passion about that. They, are, they have awareness about that, about that uh, critical think, uh, thinking. Will come, they are welcome criticism and they are independent in their opinion. So if, uh, these are the most relevant characteristics of critical thinker. And uh, you will see in our real life that uh, these people are around, uh, around us. Also, uh, We have some uh, we have some method uh, method C E E I method in critical thinking. This is an acron acronym. It stands for the steps of concepts that are listed here below with the red letters. C stated, E elaborate, E example, and I illustrate. This is an easy to use and methodical critical thinking technique that helps writers clarify their ideas. This method helps uh, when uh, the, the students uh, write, uh, write an essay, um, maybe longer essay, uh, the essay is above uh, 200 words and above and more words, uh, so they can explain their, their ideas uh, with more with more uh, with more sentences and opinions. So uh, uh, benefits we have a lot of benefits in uh, of developing thinking skills. Uh, that uh, benefits uh, benefits of critical thinking the students can find in everyday like um, academic performance, understand arguments and beliefs of, uh, of others. In workplace, get a deeper understanding of our own and other decisions. Encourage open-mindedness 
to change being more analytical in solving problems we know in every company we have uh, in every company we have problems that we have to solve so this open mindness is uh, help us in our workplace to solve the uh, solve these problems in our daily life and uh, this critical thinking help us to avoid making foolish personal decisions that we in the future can we regret about them and etc so i think this is very very wonderful uh critical thinking and when students develop their thinking skills they uh develop other skin the other skills like listening they listen the, to the partner or the other one that talk, uh, when they they talk creative skills uh thinking about another another way to to solve the problems or find a way to uh to begin something new communication they are better in their uh, communications speaking skills they can speak uh, easily and social skills making friends and it is and verbal and reading skills they uh, full uh, they have a richer uh, richer vocabulary and they can read very easily uh, when they uh, developing their thinking uh, their thinking skills so this is my presentation for thinking skills if you have any questions thank you congratulations on your presentation thank you. and uh, uh, thank you that you are working on the students critical things uh, critical skills because this is the 21st century yeah. and uh, a necessary tool to survive i would say yes and create yes. something new uh, i was wondering uh, in the seam method what mm -hmm. is actually the difference between example and illustrate uh, the, the example so, as example you can you can say as an example just to say it and nothing else but in in illustrating you can say your own uh, you can uh, co correlate with your own experience I understand that like that uh, in this way. So in, in illustrating, you can say uh, uh, your own experience. That means in example and illustrating. That's the difference between them. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are there any questions uh, from the participants, please? Yes. Laucha mm -hmm. is interested in PM, uh, it's very important to apply active learning strategies in teaching at all levels of education to build critical thinking. Do you agree with that? Yes, I agree. I share my experience with the young learners, but mm -hmm. we can build critical thinking and uh, at all levels of education. So it doesn't mean that just the, the little uh, little students can learn, can build critical thinking. We can use this in all levels. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, that's my yeah. my opinion. Sometimes it's even the opposite that maybe some people think that you can develop critical skills only with older students, but with younger that you cannot. But actually, you have to start from the day zero. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, and Jana uh, would like to know how do you deal in developing the critical thinking with the fact that it requires also the right information, so come to to come to the uh, right conclusion. So because there are apparently yeah. many fake information, so how do you deal with that? Uh, uh, so I encourage them to think about more answers and to show the uh, to uh, say their answers uh, so we can get the the right answers uh, together and do not afraid to show their opinion about something i mm -hmm. didn't say to my students that they have a wrong opinion about something mm -hmm. every child has a right opinion about everything but i have some directions like okay think more more positively think more uh, uh creatively and then mm -hmm. some some way i i uh, encourage my students to to build that uh, critical uh, students to find out the right conclusion mm -hmm. all right and sabina would like to know uh, if you can share maybe uh, one more activity which you use uh, as a primary te teacher to build critical thinking 
uh, one of the my uh, priority this year to build my critical thinking, uh, to build critical thinking skills to my students, it's uh, to start podcasting. Like uh, when we learn, when we we learn about profession, to make some uh, interview, and they will they uh, they will record their. A interview and we can talk about that we can talk about the professions what is good what is uh, more good uh, sorry what is bad so we can uh, we can prepare for the next podcasting to be better uh, mm -hmm. I, yes uh, and uh, I will start this year with project based learning so I will see how it will be so I, I will sure share that will with you good. yeah okay. So I'm waiting your next presentation on Thank this you. project. <laughs> okay, and uh, okay, uh, Sylvia would also like to know from what age can a child improve this critical thinking? So my what? my personal opinion is uh, the young color, uh, uh, the young age. Like my daughter is four years old, and they mm -hmm. start in the kindergarten to build this critical thinking. So mm -hmm. I start with my students from uh, uh, from first grade. So uh, it's, it doesn't mean that uh, if it's uh, mm, that the age is some barrier to start build a critical thinking. I think uh, that uh, as the, the children is uh, more younger, it's uh, better to build the critical thinking skills. To, to start, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so Maria, thank you very much for welcome. This with your work uh, also in the future thank you uh, welcome now alina and her presentation her presentation is uh, digital innovation for students engagement in the pbl practice we don't have any uh, a lot of opportunities to listen about uh, this sub th those practical subjects so i'm looking forward also to your presentation uh, all right, so you can start sharing the screen. We have it here. And uh, dear participants, thank you also for your questions. Uh, the link for the certificates of attendance is in the comments several times. I hope you will find. If you won't find now, then please check later after the conference uh, because uh, the link is valid for 24 hours. So you can still uh, you can still uh, apply after the conference. Right, Alina, digital innovation. What can you say? Hello, <clears throat> hello everybody. I entitled my presentation as Digital Innovation for Students Engagement in PBL Practice. In a way, uh, Digital Innovation, uh, I uh, choose this title as a tricky title because I, I consider that all teachers, uh, especially started with COVID, we are innovators in each hour that we teach. So digital innovation uh, that this uh, my presentation is not meaning that I will come with a, a extraordinary uh, tools, but I will uh, uh, try to show you uh, my experience in um, a PBL practice. So in, in uh, my uh, engagement with students in projects. Um, I uh, am a uh, twinning ambassador and I'm very proud of this. Um, I made the presentation of myself before, so I escaped this, uh, this uh, slide. Um, I uh, want to make a link um, um, uh, from Maria's uh, critical thinking idea and presentation and uh, go pointed to the fact that uh, we engage students in um, in our uh, teaching because students are the product that we want to modulate and we want to make it better and we want to to uh, make them to go in life so uh, we work on their critical thinking giving them roles 
So in PBL practice, usually uh, you establish the plan of uh, the action you do, the project or the uh, little work with students, a period of time, but you uh, can give them a role roles so even we are in a classroom or in other contact peer connections um, we have to um, take or to give each other some something to do some tasks so um, the the main um, um, goals for every teacher, for every instructor, is to improve the uh, 21st century skills. And we want to um, develop these skills in students, but uh, in the same time, we, we want to discover their inner talents and to de develop it. Um, here, I, I'm not sure if it will work, this link um, is presented, not be made by me. The principal, the main um, uh, key competencies for lifelong learning that we want to develop and to uh, uh, um, improve in our students. So it's about uh, technology, it's about uh, uh, competencies in languages, in um, uh, literacy competencies in cultural awareness around the world, in uh, civic competencies, in entrepreneurship competencies, or uh, personal and social learning. Um, and starting with COVID, the important thing are digital competencies. So um, this uh, has to be our focus when we teach. Um, uh, going back to my idea that we have to give students roles, uh, it's important to think in a team or yes, in the classroom, how can we make students to think critical, giving them the first role, for example, students as decision maker. So we let them to choose and we give them warm up activities or warm up activities or ice breaking activities to um, make them to start to have the courage to start an action, a project, or whatever we do. Also, we can give students a role to be advertiser. In this way, they can spread the word about uh, um, their actions or. Uh, act like making posters or doing an exhibition in the school or making an article or um, uh, discuss with the others and enter in contact and again we appeal to their critical thinking yes um, students also can be uh, technicians in this uh, idea they use uh, ICT tools to elaborate a lot, a lot of uh, products, of um, digital products, like videos, like presentations using uh, a lot of uh, diverse tools, or uh, they can create ebook regarding a theme or uh, a theme or uh, I don't know, uh, whatever can be, uh, homework. They can uh, communicate uh, also online and they can uh, do products collaboratively. Students also can be uh, change makers. So um, uh, they can decide because they are free to decide about uh, how to, to work in a, in a project. They can change, uh, uh, become change makers. In this way, they can implement some uh, actions in the school, for example, collecting, uh, I don't know, plastic or uh, paper or something like that. So they can uh, change the environment in the school and uh, be an, become an example. 
In this way, they uh, improve their professional performance as volunteers, as examples for the other students in their school. And in this way, they can grow inside and be more motivated to do uh, all kinds of things next time. Uh, students can uh, have uh, the role as learners in informal learning context. In this, uh, uh, this idea is regarding, of course, with the volunteer activities, with participating in all kinds of uh, uh, callings in the county, in the community. Uh, but uh, I, I'm... I'm very uh, persuaded that uh, formal learning goes hand in hand with informal learning. Uh, for example, projects, international projects, even they are online or uh, in mobilities, they can help students to, to learn things and to, to touch a little bit be the, the idea of global learning, global learner. Uh, here is uh, in a, a short and uh, schematic presentation uh, uh, what skills we want to develop in students, communication, uh, ICT skills, critical thinking, creativity, active citizenship. This is very important. Uh, co collaboration, uh, of course, solving problems and uh, improving learning uh, experience. Uh, students... Um, um, can be uh, or yes um, can be communicators and collaborators without communication we cannot uh, go further we cannot do things and we um, learned this and felt this during covid because we were a little separated we were isolated so a communication and social socialize between people is um, a pointed key to grow, especially for students, even they are little kids or uh, uh, younger students. Um, I have here some examples. This uh, here are three examples of my projects that I succeeded to end a period of COVID. These projects. Uh, I uh, conducted last year. Uh, I won't read the, uh, each slide because I don't have time, but um, I want to express my um, great appreciation and the fact that I love very much the 17 Sustainable Development Goals because gives us an open-minded view about the world and uh, gives us a lot of opportunities to engage students in uh, many, many, many activities that can bring the benefits in the world. At least each teacher in each school to try a little to, to sensibilize the students for the goals because the goals, I think, um, uh, get together the main issues of our life and of our future, of course. Um, uh, regarding the role of students, what can, uh, how, how can we engage students in projects? Um, students, if they are deciders uh, in this project, for example, we gave them uh, the um, free choice to make a calendar. I'm not sure that, uh, if this link will work but uh, um, I, I mentioned that we made it in Canva. Uh, Canva.com is a tool that uh, let you to know uh, to work collaboratively and if you have Canva for education you have the opportunity to uh, make classes and to work uh, and to uh, guide students to work in a common uh, uh, slide, in a common uh, 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 final product. Um, uh, students uh, with the role of communicators also we uh, made the product in this project with story jumper where I don't know I have a problem I think I cannot open uh, 
the, the slides. But you know uh, Story Jumper, and we we have created a common book where each student uh, um, filled the pages, and other student uh, uh, draw, and other students came. Uh, other student came with the idea of the little text, and in a metaphoric way, they. Uh, express their um, uh, critical thinking about each uh, goal. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful story here. I'm going further with my slides because I think I'm late. Um, students, um, as technici technicians, I have to admit that sometimes I'm not the best technician that I'm going to students and ask them how are you doing this video or how you manage with that app because I'm not using phone it's too small to see something on my phone so I here here I, I have to accept that uh, the big technicians are the, our students uh, because I'm pressing uh, about the time uh, here, I want to tell you that uh, students created an acrostic poems that we we made it on a Google uh, sheet, yeah. And every student uh, wrote uh, uh, rima, uh, some uh, phrases which uh, with their rims, and finally. Uh, we uh, created a book that we uploaded in um, the tool called isu.com uh, and we created a wonderful uh, book. You can see the book here. And of course, they found uh, some uh, uh, drawings on the internet. These are not our drawings, but we had uh, an inspiration with that and uh, we created um, an... Um, ebook with acrostic poems about uh, the goals that we studied in project um, um, together with students uh, we created or we used vr reality in uh, in uh, uh, using the tool art steps art steps yes and using also um cospaces.edu uh, uh, here is an application where you can uh, make uh, the same classes with students and to work collaboratively um, this is uh, the second example but maybe i will have in the future opportunity to talk more about this project because uh, in november we will be uh, awarded again online in a big conference of, about it winning and you will hear about that but here i want just to to tell you about the same roles we gave to students as uh, communicators um, when they created as you see here is a uh, graphic infographic with uh, some text created by them we help them, of course, and they uh, register the um, uh, audio, this, this text, and we uh, um, cut the, the audio and put it together in a, a, in a common uh, vocalized uh, video about uh, the climate action. Uh, of course, uh, the, uh, students can be teachers. Um, uh, after uh, big work, we can ask them, can you be my teacher and uh, use, for example, a mind map like this. It's very small here, but a mind map like this and tell me the important uh, things, subjects that we discussed or we have to, to uh, um, make uh, extract the, the, show, the important ideas from the, the topic. So they can create a mind map also using a lot of other tools, Bubble, Us, uh, Go Conquer, Van Gage, and other um, tools. I told you that uh, 
students are the best technicians. <laughs> Sometimes uh, at the beginning, I was embarrassed to ask them, how are you doing? But after a while, I, I went frankly to them, uh, show me, show me, please, because I'm in a big panic. I cannot go on without your advice. So students were great and very proud to discover that they are important for me. So um, this is the way I'm uh, um, uh, looking at my students and I collaborate with them and I receive back the same kindness and uh, uh, happiness, uh, finally. Um, another project in pandemic time that I've done is uh, this uh, lifelong bioeconomy with uh, uh, my colleagues from Turkey. It was a final product uh, made it again in Canva, but it was a great, great product about all kind of recipes that we can do uh, from uh, bio waste, from uh, peels of oranges or uh, I don't know, uh, um, other bio based or uh, how we can um, um, feed the ground to be better for plants with our waste from the kitchen. Um, yes, and uh, I uh, collected here uh, some, but short and uh, small, not small, a few, a few tools that uh, I used uh, during time in projects um, because they are thousand and thousand and are still coming a lot of uh, uh, applications and sometimes uh, I'm in a panic that I cannot learn all but uh, sometimes I'm thinking that I cannot know all tools. So I, I gather here just uh, a few of one Padlet, which is very common and uh, you can do it and use it and engage students uh, in a Padlet and collect their all your work. Uh, Google Docs, yes. Uh, um, uh, coming with G Suite uh, collection, uh, we use Jamboards a lot and um, uh, as part as uh, Google for Classroom. And uh, the same as Padlet is Lino Linoid. You can use it uh, very well with students to point some ideas and to uh, engage them in collaboration or in uh, critical thinking on in uh, expression opinions. Uh, we created videos um, with Animoto, with uh, Canva. Canva is a very, is a great tool which uh, is developing day by day. If you have uh, Apple uh, devices, iMovies is a very good uh, tool to create videos. Uh, Random Forest, of course, Bytable, uh, Viva Video, InShot, Scumpa, BCAT, but these last two allow you, I think, allowed you just uh, three videos. Uh, Quick Pro, Plotagon, Potoon, Amaze, uh, uh, Filmora Go. Uh, I discovered this year Magisto, which is nice. Uh, video Editor, yes, it's an old tool. For creating, um, for creating um, stories, uh, we can uh, use Canva, yes, uh, Geniali is a great uh, tool. Uh, I, I'm talking, of course, about uh, tools or application where you engage students to work together and you can uh, verify or moderate or facilitate uh, the going of the project of the product. Uh, of course, uh, Book Creator is a great tool. This Book Creator and uh, Geniali and Canva, I worked this year a lot and I love uh, these tools. Uh, posters, infographics, again, we uh, or comics, I think uh, is a trend. Each year is starting to come some trend in in these tools because Pixstone and Canva and uh, comics, comics, creating comics, cartoons 
with these tools. Um, I saw in a lot of projects of my other partners and other colleagues with Canva, Pickstone, Word Art, PicChart, uh, PictoChart, I use it for uh, a short e magazine. Uh, poster My Walls allows you to do posters. Um, I told you about mind maps um, to engage students. Um, also, um, sometimes you can uh, um, make students not realize that they are learning, uh, engaging them in games. And uh, I have here, I put here some uh, very nice and easy application, a jigsaw puzzle, G, G, D, G, G. I, I, <laughs> all the time I have problems with this G, G, D. Learning apps, I'm a puzzle, world wall can, engage them and tell them let's play so they will be very happy and you can put them i don't know some something to learn but they don't realize that they they are learning um of course um, engaging students also with in twin chat in a forum i'm talking about uh, online projects uh, zoom uh, now we are on Streamyard. i never use it or Adobe Connect or the chat on the eTwinning. I'm talking mostly about eTwinning. Uh, collaborate uh, in mixed teams. Also, um, uh, you can use Padlets or uh, a Tree Cider for some voting. Or if you want to ask them uh, opinion and make them to be creative but using one word, you can do word clouds um, with answer garden or Mentimeter. Every, everybody knows about these uh, tools. And I suggest if you are a beginner and uh, you want to work with a small group of students, you can make a PDF or a word or working on Google Slides together with your students and then transfer in PDF and upload on this ISU, Calameo, Flip, HTML5, Jumag, uh, uh, Jomag, and Book Creator. And finally, you can show to your students that you have, wow, a big story or a big book created by them. So in this way, you can, uh, you are kept Captain, you no, know, you are catching them uh, in attractive activities, and if they see the final product, they uh, they will be amazed. And after that, you uh, you can continue with th that students because they uh, receive power and uh, motivation and uh, trust in themselves. Um, I'm talking about how you engage students also to. Uh, try to evaluate them using Google Forms, surveys, Kahoot games, or quizzes. I think I talked a lot of, sorry. Um, a Google Classroom um, is uh, already known, but I discovered last year and this year the Nearpod, where you can uh, engage students and um, you have on your pod some ready-made lessons or you can make your own. Uh, I think the um, you are limited here at 10 lessons. I'm not quite sure because all the time I had to delete that something that I use or I created, yes. I think the cost is not too much, but I didn't uh, pay. After that, you can uh, try it's indicated to try add puzzle with students. You have their ready-made uh, uh, videos and you you can uh, stop video at some moments and put your own questions for students. Students can enter and you can create classes on add puzzle and they answer and you see their score after um, they answer to the short video, two, three minutes with your questions uh, added. Uh, also, co-spaces is uh, usually 
um, can be used with little students, uh, but uh, I'm using using co spaces most in um, or for code week activities. And um, uh, yes, here I created the uh, last time a uh, class, but I think uh, they are not uh, memorized the class. So I, I couldn't find the class again after a while. And uh, if you want to improve your projects and uh, be a little bit wow, you can try to use our steps. It's uh, to try a little bit the virtual reality. It's not hard to use our steps and you can create uh, a 3D visualize uh, short uh, museum or uh, exhibition or whatever you want. Uh, sorry, I'm very sorry. I think I talked a lot. Sorry, <laughs> this is my presentation. I think that uh, we listen Thanks. to you with enthusiasm. Uh, all the, I mean, the whole list of uh, digital tools that you presented us is such a real treasure because I, I mean, I didn't even know all of them. So really, congratulations on your uh, on your uh, treasury of tools. Uh, I would like to read one of the comments. Alina is very skillful and well trained in using digital tools in online lessons. She's very active and does her best to innovate the didactic activities. So I think this comment tells us everything. Uh, Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, about the questions, uh, so there is one question about uh, 17, uh, 17 sustainable development goals. So which are the most popular among students so that they were passionately engaged? I th uh, which uh, goal from uh, the 17 goals are more uh, discussed or more uh, popular? I think uh, uh, g the goal 13 about climate action is um, most popular popular among students and in uh, community because now with the new uh, directives from uh, uh, European Commission signed in July this year, I think there will be a lot of programs to try to change countries and to be more responsible in collecting selective. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. goal, goal 13 is um, uh, very popular and, of course, uh, I think, I would like to think that goal 4, uh, education for all or uh, education, yes, about education, because I notice on the internet that um, finally we discover uh, all the parts of uh, the world, Asia, uh, India, Bangladesh, I'm, I'm very happy to hear them, to see them, to, to see their enthusiasm, yes, to, to listen to their uh, webinars, their presentations. The students are uh, little, but they talk English very well. So I was impressed and I'm very happy that at least education can uh, get uh, get together uh, in a common sense, uh, in a common goal, in a common action. So mm -hmm. it's very important. Mm -hmm. How about uh, your experience with Microsoft Teams as collaborative platform that can help also manage multiple groups and projects? Do you have any experience and how do you see that? Yes, we tried a little bit at school, but uh, to be honest, I'm not working in Microsoft Teams. I I have two accounts. I have to be sincerely, I don't know how. And when there are webinars on uh, school education gateway, I think my computer saved, uh, saved, the, saved the address or the, the possibility to enter in Microsoft Teams. And uh, I, promised myself yes a long time ago that i will try this uh, this um, collaborative uh, uh, tool uh, but i'm i'm not exper experienced in microsoft teams 
Oh, okay. Thank you, Alina, very much for your wonderful, wonderful presentations. Uh, so the presentation is available in the Facebook group, Pan-European uh, Conference on Digital Education, and you can click all the links there and also see the treasury of digital tools that Alina prepared for you all. Thank you. Thank you. And now, Violeta. Here you are, Violeta. Uh, welcome also you uh, with another presentation. So, volcanoes are your main topic. How to make volcano? We are all curious about. Mm -hmm. You can start sharing your screen. Yeah. Okay, the sound is not the best quality. And now is it better? Now it's better, no. yeah. Okay. You can see my screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, but I don't see the presentation yet, yes? So we just see the this screen, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. so we need the presentation still. But also, I can share it if you want me to. Okay, you can you can do that. Okay, then just a moment. I have to find it. How to make volcano? All right, I have it here. Just a second. Um, and yeah, it's here. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, it was very challenging this year uh, to be a teacher in uh, North Macedonia because from the first to the thir third grade, uh, students were uh, in the school, so they were learning with physical presence. But from the fourth till the ninth grade, the students was uh, online. And uh, we were very excited about that because we need to uh, prepare everything, to make the lessons, to use the tools. and. Um, for the classes uh, as a national platform. We use this tool Microsoft Teams and we have a very great experience because uh, it gives a lot of opportunities. They have uh, very friendly uh, tools they are connected to Microsoft Teams. So uh, somehow we managed to, uh, to make the classes uh, as uh, it was. So uh, I choose this activity because it was a huge uh, experience and very ch challenging, as I told you. Uh, because uh, it, uh, some, sometimes it is called uh, kitchen chemistry, but that kitchen chemistry you can use, you can connect it to the material that you teach uh, to students, and uh, you should connect um, because it helps you as a teacher uh, to reach the goals uh, of the classes and uh, teach the students that uh, uh, kitchen chemistry is very connected to the materials to, uh, and uh, it can help to learn the characteristics of the materials, their reactions, how are the, the reactions, uh, how the lava is formed, and uh, exploring that materials, explore, exploring chemical reactions, because uh, uh, they have to learn what will happen with the materials after that, and uh, how the students can make uh, hypothesis on uh, how, how they can uh, um, make them and how they can answer some questions they have with the material. Uh, can you please give us uh, next slide? So um, I decided to uh, to use a different tools, different online tools, uh, because uh, we have uh, because I have to organize uh, the classes and learning and uh, uh, to reach the goals and uh, to have all the components uh, that will be useful in the class. It was very challenging, but it was also very interesting for the students. First of all, as an introduction, I, star I started to uh, talk about um, their uh, previous knowledge about volcanoes, uh, what is magma, what is lava, uh, how, um, what they know about that. Uh, so I uh, give them um, some time to make some research. Uh, from this research, uh, I share the link with them. 
and also uh, the last link that is on YouTube. Uh, Blanca, you can also share uh, in the chat group. It is our video that we were made uh, last year with the students. Uh, it was uh, some kind of learning materials from the uh, previous year that we used this year uh, to go further more with the materials. Uh, so uh, this uh, YouTube uh, video is uh, also made from the students. Uh, they, uh, they make uh, volcanoes, but uh, the, the learning was uh, in lower, reaching the lower goal. So this year uh, we go more further and we use that knowledge uh, because I needed to show them what they need to do. Uh, next slide. Uh, so I decided to uh, I decided to use uh, Google Forms. I divided in two groups. One group have uh, uh, materials uh, as it uh, as it uh, recipe for the volcano as it uh, as it to be. So they have exact materials. Uh, and uh, the other group have um, less of um, acid, so uh, they uh, they were making a hypothesis. They ask a question themselves, and uh, after that they have instructions how they can make a volcano. So they put all the ingredients. They make a volcano. They need the plastic bottles, uh, as you can see on the picture there from the previous grade. Uh, they uh, they made it. Uh, uh, with uh, some uh, uh, blaster, so uh, it was very interesting and very excited. Uh, Google, uh, Microsoft Forms uh, uh, gives opportunity to work in groups, so I divided them in two groups. I enter in both groups, and I was also asking them uh, asking them questions about uh, how the researching is going, what are they doing. They were uh, they were talking to each other, even they were at home. So they have an opportunity to share their knowledge in the group. And after they finishing the experimentation and everything they get, uh, they put it also in Google Forms. So uh, as Blanca told you, uh, you have these links uh, in my presentation in the chat of, the, uh, of, the, of this conference. So you can open and also you can uh, use it in your practice. They are open and uh, they can be uh, reorganized so you can change something and uh, change something in them and use in your uh, classroom. Okay, next slide. And after that, uh, we enter in uh, in the class. So uh, there was a lot of excitement because uh, uh, everybody was at home, but everybody works in group and talk to uh, to their friends. Uh, one group gets uh, eruption of the volcano, and another group uh, doesn't get it uh, because they they have uh, less ingredients. So uh, we have a debate or conclusions in the class. Uh, so they are uh, they were sharing their knowledge, uh, what was right, what was wrong, and um, after that, I was asking uh, questions uh, about the materials. Uh, we get lava. What, what happened with other uh, with other materials and uh, they were they were very excited and were explaining that uh, the new product that is uh, get it from the chemical reaction lava uh, it is not uh, we can change it and we cannot split the ingredients inside so uh, it was interesting because they are learning from them, themselves and um, uh, finally, we have evaluation in Menti, and uh, after that, uh, for a homework, they have to do a story jumper book, uh, and uh, send me to my uh, email. So, uh, as I told you at the beginning, uh, it was very, very interesting for them. It was very challenging uh, for me also, uh, because um, the chemical reactions and materials and char characteristics of the materials was very easier. Uh, to be taught and uh, to be uh, explained when the students are in the classroom, but at home, when children uh, uh, children are alone, students are alone, and you are doing experimentation and using different tools, it is a little challenging. But it was a very nice experience, and uh, uh, they we reached the goal, and uh, students um, improve their learning and also their knowledge. So it was a very nice experience for them and for me also. 
Next slide. Uh, so that was my experience. Uh, so we could, if you have some questions, comments. Thank you very much also for your uh, inspiring activity that you shared with us. Uh, Elena would like to know uh, what is the reason to choose uh, Google Forms sheet with directions because she is used to use um, for feedbacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, also, Google Forms uh, should be used for feedbacks, but also it is very good for uh, for giving the directions because uh, in one part was directions of the uh, for the students because it was different groups. So the first groups uh, have uh, different materials, mm -hmm. and the second group have uh, have uh, have uh, different uh, materials, but uh, uh, the amount of the materials was different. The same um, uh, materials, but the amount of the, the amount of the materials was different. So I choose uh, Google Forms because uh, because uh, it was in one written everything. So the first part of the Google Forms is uh, materials and the way the group should. Uh, do the volcano, and the second part was the hypothesis that you can mm -hmm. have, and the third part was the conclusion they get from the group. That's mm -hmm. why, yes, because uh, everything is in one document, so you have uh, as one part. <laughs> All right, uh, great, thank you very much. Uh, I enjoy your presentation so much that I forgot the time usually. So now we are in a bit of a hurry. So I will jump to Adriana uh, because she also has a really nice presentation. Uh, welcome, Adriana. <laughs> Adriana will share with us the presentation entitled Interactive Lessons Created with the Libres uh, Editor. Okay, so the floor is yours, Adriana. Welcome. Yeah. See my presentation? Not yet. Ah, yes, we see, we see now, yes? Yeah. Interactive listens the, the Libres platform. My school. What is Livresc? Livresc is an e-learning authoring tool. Why uh, I un create e-learning course uh, an interactive lessons. Everything is done online. You do not have um, to download or, or install anything. Why to use Livresc? allow the creation of multimedia didactic content, offer captivating digital tools, stimulate creativity, support online learning. Uh, advantage of using the editor Livresc. Livresc offer a free account to everyone they desire to create all type of educational materials. As template already created by the Livresc team, piece of content, project section, quizzes, image, put in a certain order. You don't have to start a project from scratch. To access team, enter the organizer until enter you is completely online so include bus based you don't need to download anything uh, on your computer or install any browser plugin Plug collaboration function in livre server user can work together on the same material the course Listen made white libres were responsive, so they work on desktop, tablet, phone, regardless of screen um, of screen size. They, they work on uh, any device white a browser. All content created by you in libres belong to you on hundred percent. 
you can do whatever you want, white it, sealing it, giving it in a way, uh, way for free. It is your choice. It seems complicated. Follow the steps. Account creation. Login from your, your favorite browser. Create the, the reason using basic and advanced features. Publish the reasons online, privately, public, in the library. Come to lab, image, um, listen, meeting uh, in the classroom or the school platform, a content created by me for the personal development course, the term emotion, emotion my friend. Chef, Aliza in personal development, tools use it, Ch character gallery, uh, image based discussions. Presentation films. <laughs> Basic emotion. Joy. Sadness, fear, fury. Application <sighs> made you finish coloring a beautiful drawing and it is happy. Um, Put a barrier to control the, the progress of task. Um, personal development, games, kittles, friends, emotion. Test, emotion and emoticon.
song about emotion. Advice, don't forget to smile and make the world more beautiful. Oh. How much lessons? Fractions, image, Hyperlink. Look. Now we lost your presentation. Sorry. I read online that there are more than 20,000 speakers already using Libresk uh, for editing and coming up with new courses, uh, which is a wonderful. Uh, but uh, probably it's a bit hard to start, but when you get to use, then you can see how easy it is to implement quizzes, images, galleries, textbooks, videos, with so hyperlinks, tables even, everything you can uh, add into it and uh, use it then in your course. Yeah. Okay, so Adriana, would you like to add something more? Um, Livresc, um, I, in my opinion, um, Livresc is um, an um, amazing working tool for teachers uh, and for students. Um, um, my lessons um, um, is uh, an example. Mm -hmm. So you use it in, uh, during your lessons, yeah. All right, so thank you very much. I would like to, uh, uh -huh, just a second. Um, I would like you to give big likes to all our presenters. Now we came in the end. And uh, I especially thank you, Adriana, because when you are nervous and uh, would like to be your best, I mean, and you don't know English so well, you have to come even more out of your comfort zone. Uh, so I believe that uh, uh, Adriana is so courageous and can be our example how to be a courageous person and step out of the comfort zone and present your case. So I would like to take this opportunity also to invite you on our next 
conference, which uh, will be on uh, the, the last day in September, 30th, 13th of, uh, 30th of September. Applications are already open. You can find uh, the application form on the erasmusplascourses.com. Please uh, apply as presenter. I'm challenging you. <laughs> Will apply and show us your case. Thank you very much and uh, see you next time. Bye.